Unraveling, on top of that, a simple guide. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very common but often misunderstood phrase, on top of that. This phrase is used frequently in both formal and informal English, and understanding it can really enhance your communication skills. So, let's dive in and uncover the meaning and usage of, on top of that. On top of that, is a phrase used to add information, often emphasizing something additional or surprising. It's similar to saying, furthermore, or, moreover. This phrase is often used when you're listing things or when you want to add emphasis to an additional point. For example, I have a lot of work to do, and on top of that, I need to prepare for a meeting. This section will explore different scenarios where, on top of that, is commonly used. In arguments, to add strong points, e.g., you didn't do your chores, and on top of that, you broke the vase. In descriptions, to add details about a situation or a person, e.g., the book was fascinating, and on top of that, it was very informative. In everyday conversations, to casually add information, e.g., it's raining, and on top of that, I forgot my umbrella. Some learners confuse, on top of that, with physical positioning, but it's important to understand it's a figurative phrase. It doesn't mean something is physically on top of something else. Instead, it's about adding non-physical elements, like thoughts, ideas, or facts. Let's practice. I'll give you a scenario, and you try to use, on top of that, in your response. Scenario. You had a busy day at work, and you had to stay late. Your response. I had a busy day at work, and on top of that, I had to stay late. And that's a wrap on, on top of that. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding this useful phrase. Remember, practice makes perfect. So try using, on top of that, in your daily conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.